Hey, what's up you guys? So this time I decided to do something a little different. People that know me know that I collect a lot of things and one of those things is Funko. Last week I've been shopping a lot. Like really, I really spent too much money on these. And so I thought it would be fun to share what I got with you guys during the past week, two weeks, something like that. So I'm just gonna start with the ones that I ordered online and I will put the links to the shops down below just in case if you're interested in any of the pops. So my first order I placed on large. I got three Funkos up there. First off I got Sadness. Sadness is from the Disney Pixar movie Inside Out. Sadness is definitely my favorite character of this movie and I kind of only wanted her but as you will see later on in this video, I, I got them all off of separate places. But Sadness was the first one that I ordered from the Inside Out series. And I'm in love with her. I really think they did an excellent job on her. So here you got Sadness. The next one I got is Dumbo. We all know Dumbo from Disney. I just think Dumbo is adorable. And the last one I've got of large is Ariel. Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. Um, what more to say? Then the next place is Galaxy Shock. The first one I got is Harley Quinn. Oh my god. Harley? Are you okay? Here we have Harley. Awful glare coming through, but pretty sure you can see her. And then I just decided I wanted to finish my hipster princess collection so I got the three remaining Cinderella can you tell? Cinderella Jasmine and Belle then I um, ordered Bing Bong from Inside Out I ordered him from a Dutch shop we'll leave the link down below but Bing Bong is available in a lot of online stores. He's not really hard to find, but I couldn't just find him in store. And so I decided to just get him online because I really wanted him to finish my collection. So here you have Bing Bong. Bing Bong is definitely one of my favorite Funkos because he is so he has so much details and I just think he's adorable. So I'm also in this Facebook group with Dutch collectors and I ordered, like I bought a few. I got the regular Jasmine off of someone of that group. Then I got four other ones from someone. I got uh, Maleficent. This is just regular Maleficent. They also have a Maleficent that's based on the Angelina Jolie movie. But I really just wanted her. And then I also got the Evil Queen. And I think the Evil Queen is pretty awesome. I just, I just love her. Like in my opinion, the villains are so nicely done by Funko. The Disney princess as well, but the villains are definitely my favorite. Also got the Beast to complete my uh, Beauty and the Beast collection. Um, I do still need Belle in her like yellow dress, but she is like crazy expensive. Probably never gonna get her, but I like having the Beast. Then the last thing I got from her is this uh, Tinkerbell Hot Topic exclusive one, and. She has glitters. I think that's the difference with this one and the originally one that she has glitters all over her. And yeah, I just really, I, I think Tinkerbell is super cute. She is a lot smaller than the different pops as well, which I think is a really nice detail. So, yes. Then the Funkos I'm going to show you guys now, I all found in store. Um, basically, these are all over the place. I don't know what store I got them on. Specifically, like I already mentioned, I got the entire Inside Out set. So here we have Anger. Anger is really grumpy looking, which suits him perfectly. It also suits my red hair, as I can see on camera. I just love him. Then we have Joy. We also have Joy with glitter hair, and I also have Sadness with glitter hair, if I'm correct. I'm really looking out for those ones to get them one day, one day. And then we have Fear like a little Funko baby and I just think he's adorable but Fear is not really 
my favorite character, but I just really wanted him to complete my set. But. And then last but not least, we have this cast, and I think this cast is obviously awesome. She's just a great Funko Pop. When I saw her, I just fell in love. I was like, okay, I gotta have her. So, actually, my boyfriend got me this cast, and he also got me Joy. Got those for my boyfriend. Then I got one I was really surprised to find in store. I have Snow White. Snow White is not really too rare, but she's definitely a more harder pop to find. I think she's faulted right now. She's not really super rare or anything, but her price has been going up a bit. So I was really excited when I found her in store. And I think she would look really good next to the Evil Queen. How do you pronounce Bambi in English? Because in Holland we just say Bambi. But I don't think that sounds right. Like Bambi? I don't know. Just showing you the box. You know who it is. <laughs> um, they also have a uh, thumper and flower from this set. And I really, really want to get those as well. But um, I don't know if they still have these in stores. So when I saw uh, this one. I'm not, I'm not even going to try say the name. I was really, really surprised. But I'm really happy with it. Then I found Dory from Finding Nemo. And this is the one from the original movie, from the original movie because I know they uh, are about to release or they're already released from the new uh, movie. What's it called? Finding Dory, probably. The Dory movie. Um, but this is from the original movie, so I really just wanted this set complete. There are only four, so. So I also got uh, Nemo from that same set. And I also got a crush, but he's up on the bottom of his back, but you'll see him in a minute or so. Then I also found Cinderella. And I got Simba from The Lion King. I just think he's adorable. I really like the whole Lion King set, but they're quite hard to find. So keeping my eyes out for that, the other ones. But and then I got Aurora. Aurora, Aurora. <laughs> and I got then I'm showing you four that I actually got for my boyfriend. But thought it would be fun to share. This is uh, Marvel's Daredevil, and this is a exclusive as well. I'm not really familiar with the show, but he really loves the show, so thought it would be fun for him. Also matches my hair perfectly. Then I got Ant Man, and I really want these pops myself as well. But I know he loves this movie, so I got them from for him. Um, I watched like a part of the movie. I actually fell asleep and I feel really bad about it because the part that I did watch I really liked. But I also really loved him in Civil War character. So uh, to go with Ant Man, I also got him a um, yellow jacket, and this is also a exclusive. I think he's a glow in the dark pop. So. And then the last one I got for him, for him is Gamora um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Not really big fan. That's all I'm gonna say, but he loves it, so yeah. He's trying to get the whole Guardians of the Galaxy set, so I thought it would be a fun addition to his collection. These are the Funkos I got. A fancy Harry Potter bag. These are the last ones I got. Oh, like I said, I got Crush. Crush from the Nemo movie. So I only need Bruce. I really want Bruce. Then from Doctor Who, I got the uh, Dalek sack. This is also an uh, exclusive, and now I uh, have all three Daleks that are um, out in stores, so I'm really happy that I got this one. And I got K9 from Doctor Who, who is also a exclusive. So, and then the last Doctor Who Funko I got is the 12th Doctor, and this one is the one holding the spoon, which is also I just noticed that there's a dent in the box. But. And then last but not least, I got the Captain America Iron Man 2-pack from Civil War. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it, so and that's all I got. Um, I think it's quite a bit. I have Funkos all around me right now. So thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. Bye guys.